gesture with some spiritual words, swinging a flag. When formal program started, she was given many tokens of love. At last, Dhammavati Guruma presents her a medal made appreciative letter. It's a great pleasure for me to come here and to have been welcomed so very warmly by your community. It's just like in Burma. People give me so many flowers and scarves that there's no room around my neck for them. But it's a great happiness for me to be back here at this Bihara. Uh, it is almost 40 years ago, I think more than 40 years ago, when I first came here. I was introduced to the Bihara by the nuns of a nunnery in Bolmi, where Lord Amawadi was trained. And when I came here, I learned about Buddhism, not from books, but from the deeds of our nuns here. That Buddhism for them was a matter of practice, not just of reading or reciting prayers, in spite of the fact that both Lord Dharma Budi and Lord Guna Budi are very learned nuns. Mrs. Aung San Suu Kyi lived four years in Nepal in 1973. She gave birth to her first child, Alexander, in 1973 in Kathmandu. She spent three years in Kirtipur, one of the historic towns of Kathmandu, which is rich in Newari culture. <laughs> in, in those days, I was able to go around Kathmandu, all over Kathmandu, with our venerable nuns. And by going with them, I discovered a part of Nepal which visitors usually do not see at all. I was able to enter into Nepalese houses and to see the Nepalese at worship and to understand for myself how devoted they are to the teachings of the Lord Buddha. <laughs> 
She wanted to say it with Dhamma Vati Guruma and the members of the Vihar in peaceful environment. But the crowd of journalists and people from all over made it impossible. At last, she had just few times to be with Venerable Nun Thammavati in her private room. When she lived in Dharmakirti Bihar, she was overwhelmed. Uh, after the diplomatic relation between these two countries, you know, a lot of high-level visit has been uh, happened. So, a uh, lot of high-level dignitaries, scholars, uh, monks, nuns, uh, all peoples are traveling. And they are coming to Nepal, and even Nepalese dignitaries are traveling to Myanmar. So that relations uh, promote the relation between the two countries. So. That uh, high dignitaries are very good for the relationship to develop the relation between the Nepal and Myanmar. Lord Siddhartha Gautam became Buddha 2500 years ago, receiving enlightenment primarily. After receiving Buddhahood, the Basu and Bhalluk granted him honey and barley. That made Lord Buddha delighted and he later gave them his parts of here. <laughs> <laughs> 
Those parts of hair have been stored in Swedagan Pagoda in the form of Rali. In the period of King Ashok, Shorna and Uttar Mahastavir spread the religion in Burma. Because of that, the religion is still being conserved. Today, the world has got an opportunity to learn the religion and Bipashyana meditation from a country called Myanmar. We Nepalese are very thankful towards Myanmar, the country where the Buddha's teachings have been preserved till 2500 years. We ensure that Nepal-Burma relation will be respectful and friendly forever. The relation will be always dedicated towards eternal progress and prosperity.